All right. Something weird is going on with this barb. Can you see it? He's actually wielding Berserker set. So in this video, I want to go over just a few items that I, as I see it, is uh, not that utilized uh, in the current meta of PD2. But uh, with some of the changes, either directly or indirectly, I hope it may uh, change the uh, the usefulness of uh, some of these items. So the first um, like general item change is uh, with the Berserker set. For the upcoming season, we uh, got this uh, max damage uh, roll added on top of the um, the set bonus for uh, for the weapon. And I actually did a little bit of testing with the uh, Kong, um, just with a regular weapon here when you upgrade it. And it was actually doing well against the uh, Hell Trap. So um, actually a pretty solid option to going Berserker set uh, if you do uh, one of these skills with a lot of um, skill ED, right? Zerg. Kong, something like that, and you can even go crazy and uh, get an ethereal one sorted and uh, put damage shields and stuff like that in there, right? <laughs> so uh, yeah, I hope uh, some people will maybe do something more with the with this set in the coming season. It's kind of kind of cool, I feel like. All right, the next uh, item is uh, Gloom Strap here. So uh, it was changed, so we get. Um, to roll up to 20 FCR on this uh, this build now, and this is kind of like a tr contrast to uh, Arachnid here because um, the FCR roll was uh, increased from a 15 to 20 percent to 10 to 20 percent. So it's going to be a lot harder to get that 20 FCR Arachnid mesh if uh, that's what you're looking for. And um, Gloom's trap might actually be a solid uh, alternative now. You can also just see here it has a 15% increased max mana, which is actually pretty good for like energy socks and stuff like that, right? So um, could be a good alternative. Of course, you mostly want the skills, right? But um, yeah, definitely, uh, definitely an option here. Then the next thing is the, the Fireless's Talon. This claw is one of those that even if you hit a decent slam on it, you can never sell them. Like after a few weeks or something like that in the season, right? Um, Enemy fire resistance um, uh, or minus enemy fire resistance doesn't work on uh, traps. It's only like percent damage, uh, elemental damage, right? And also this one has like plus two martial arts skills and all that stuff. So um, it's uh, it's mainly like a, something that's made for fist of fire. And now with the um, the updates to fist of fire, it's actually pretty good. I feel like this could uh, could have some increase in value as well. So um, that's uh, that's really cool that uh, fire lessons um, might uh, might have this uh, season to shine right. So make sure to pick those up and, and slam them. Then we have uh, Arix needles here. Um, that's also one of those like it's usually not even worth slamming them right. But uh, we got a update to whirlwind and uh, the two hand weapon range. So apparently there was a bug previously that made it so that two-handers um, or any weapon with uh, a range over f uh, over two didn't actually apply. Uh, that was fixed now, so that means we get a lot more weapon range, and that's also something that's relevant for this beer because it has the maximum um, weapon range, so you'll be able to reach a lot more monsters when you are whirlwinding through a corridor or something like that. And I feel like this may be, um, like this is directly aff uh, affected by it. It has some problems because it's like low base damage and uh, can only get max free circuits. But if you also see the open wounds damage, that's not nothing. Like we're getting pretty close to 1k open wounds here, right? So that is probably a pretty good like early budget bleed build, uh, bleed barb whirlwind uh, weapon now. Um, Getting early into maps with uh, with this, put a few uh, om runes or something like that in there, and see everything bleed behind you, right? Pretty pretty solid, and also with the uh, ignore target defense, which is really really nice after last season change where you just hit every regular monster with uh, with this one, no need for uh, attack rating, right? So yeah, hopefully you see some more play with this uh, in the upcoming season. Then we have Wind Force. Not much to say about it, but uh, we got a small multi-shot buff, and uh, then this one also got some um, some max damage, some more max damage. So um, this is kind of in a decent spot again. So that's a feels good, man. 
Head Striker. Um, Head Striker actually introduced along with uh, some new items a new uh, stat modifier. It's called Maximum Deadly Strike. So it actually works like um, uh, in, like Maximum Res, if you know that stat right, but it also works as Flat Deadly Strike. So um, this increases the cap. Usually the uh, the cap had been, um, or the Deadly Strike cap without this uh, modifier is 75%, right? Uh, getting more Deadly Strike than this doesn't do anything. But uh, that changes now, so you can actually theoretically with uh, two of these, um, like get 100% deadly strike, right? So uh, that's really cool, and uh, might see some uh, some uh, deadly strike max deadly strike builds here in the upcoming season. So make sure to pick these up, especially if they're ethereal and uh, slam them right. And the last item I just want to highlight here is uh, Hill Slayer. Um, Actually, not sure how much the uh, uh, what's it called, um, Bioclaw Druid actually changed in the skill. I can't remember, but uh, this change to this item is almost enough in itself because we got uh, the enemy fire res uh, pierce here that was uh, swapped in there from I think it was string for life or something like that, right? This was also always a decent like fury. Druid weapon or something like that. If you got some circuits and some attack speed on there, right? But uh, mostly just for um, like physical fury, right? But now it's like a really, really, really good weapon for uh, for fire claw, and um, definitely make sure to uh, to pick these up and slam them. It's a uh, it's a really, really cool one for uh, for um, for fire claw druid. So um, yeah. Probably gonna see some increase in value for this. It was a solid weapon before, but uh, now it has more of like a, a clear niche, right? It was kind of outperformed by other weapons in the end end game, I feel like. But uh, now it uh, kind of has a, a clear specialization. So uh, really, really good. And uh, yeah, there are probably some other uh, changes I missed. And uh, yeah, let me know in the comments if you agree with some of these. Do you agree with the Berserker uh, meta for uh, Season 10, or uh, is there something I forgot here? What do you think? Do you think uh, the base damage is still too low on Ariax Needle? Um, yeah, let me know, and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.